Hi guys, it's your girl Rashida with another episode of Miss Goody's Kitchen. So on today's episode of Miss Goody's Kitchen, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a quick rice and peas recipe. So rice and peas is a dish that we eat in Jamaica. And usually what with the beans, we take the beans and we soak them overnight and then we boil it to make the rice and peas. But with this recipe, I'm gonna show you guys how to make it with kidney beans from the can. So this recipe is something that will take less time and it's quicker for you to make it. So here are some of the things you're gonna to need to start off. So you're gonna need boiling water, which I have in the back boiling. You're gonna need red kidney beans. Um, you could keep the, all the juices that were inside the um, can. You're gonna need rice. I'm using long grain rice, and this is just regular rice, not brown rice. You're gonna need thyme. If you have the thyme in the stem, you can use that. Um, scallion, butter, a piece of scotch bonnet and coconut milk. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to cook it all in the pot. All right guys, so now that we've moved over to the stove, I'm gonna show you guys how to cook the rice. So the first thing you're gonna need is boiling water. You're gonna need your water to be at a rolling boil. And then to that, you're gonna add the coconut milk. Okay. And me, I just use regular canned coconut milk. So after you add the coconut milk, then I'm gonna add in the stick of the butter. Okay? And then you can add in your rice. Perfect. So when I took my finger and stuck it into the water, I can feel the, the rice on my fingertips. So now you want to do it until it hits right here on your index finger. Perfect. So you can see the water is, is coated the top tip of my finger. So in addition to that, now we can add the, the bean with all the sauce in it. You can add your scotch bonnet pepper, your scallion, and your thyme. I suggest you use a, a sprig of thyme. Okay, and then you're just gonna put the lid on that. When you cover your pot, make sure that you don't cover it completely because what will happen is it will overflow. So I'm gonna turn my heat down. I'm gonna put it on a medium, medium high, and I'm gonna turn, turn it down. And then I'm gonna show you guys how it looks halfway, how to make sure that you're stirring your rice. Okay, so I see you guys when our rice is halfway at the halfway point. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you guys where we're at. We're at the half point with the rice and peas. So now, when you notice that the water is evaporating from the rice, where it's really just like low, that's when you wanna take your rice and mix it. So the rice is basically almost halfway cooked. So you wanna mix your rice together, preferably with a fork. And you want to put the lid back on it tightly because remember before I told you guys to keep the lid like this so it didn't boil over. So now you're going to put the lid on tightly to lock in all that steam. And this is where the rice really begins to like steam and cook. So now I'm going to take my fire and I'm going to turn it on low. So before it was on high, I turned it on low and I'm going to leave that and let that finish cook. And then I'll be right back with the finished product. All right guys, so finally we have the rice and peas finished. And if you had any thyme leaves on it, you just wanna go ahead and pick it out. I picked out a couple of my stubs and threw them away. So now it's time to plate up the rice and peas. And traditionally this is something that we eat with the works. Um, oxtail, jerry chicken, curry chicken everything. So anything like scallions or anything like that, you can just take them out, put them to the side, especially your scotch bonnet. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to get ready to enjoy my dinner with my side, but if you are ever interested in making a quick rice and peas recipe, this is it. Okay, so guys, comment, like, subscribe, and check out the full recipe on MissGoodiesKitchen.com. I see you guys next time.